Hi, I'm Chuck Mangino from Tallahoma, Tennessee. Today is April the 7th, 2012. Uh, we're here at the Hands-On Science Center in Tallahoma, Tennessee. And I'm going to give my uh, explanation at the very start of a program that I've got based on a theory that I came up with back in 2006. It's uh, Stopping a Tornado Initiative 2012 as of the day the initiative starts. Uh, if you get a chance, the whole story of why I'm here giving this is stopping a tornado, airborne maser, plus computational fluid dynamics, plus weather pattern. It's on YouTube. It's 14 minutes long, but it tells the whole story of me going through a tornado in 98, uh, how I came up with the theory in 2006, and why I am doing this now. We'll start over here. The objective, my, the, the main objective is prevent the funnel cloud from touching the ground. Um, it's basically the, the last 2,000 feet where it does all the damage and so forth. And um, this is our objective here is to stop it here at the funnel cloud before it actually touches down and becomes destructive, as we all know. Um, I have no pictures, I have no videos, no animation. Uh, this is just all freestyle right now. I, I'm going into a more in-depth later on, but this is just a very basic explanation. That is our objective. How I will do it is first I will take a tornado, not all tornadoes, but just one. Think of the Wright brothers' first flight. Take one, and I will break it down into a mathematical model. Uh, I, then I will have, uh, I will break it down to a mathematical model. Then I will have a 3D grid, matrix, whatever you're going to call it. And I will break those down even to smaller mathematical models. Think of a checkerboard or chessboard. Chessboard is having 64 squares like this here, 64 squares, just an example. Well now, think of 64,000 squares. Each square is the size of a football field. And this is, gives you an idea of the basics how we will lay this out. This is from the back of the tornado all the way to the front of it before it gets there. That's the key thing. We want to stop it before it starts before it touches down. That's the whole idea. Okay, uh, how I would do it is um, with uh, first the airborne masers. Just hypothetically, you've got three 747s, hypothetically. And the first two have got masers on them. Not lasers, masers. Think of the magnetron inside your microwave oven that heats the coffee or the, you know, the sandwich or donuts or whatever. It's not a laser, it's a maser. And I'll go into that much later, later on. The first two will have masers. The third one will have another maser, but the objective of the first one is heat. It's a pocket of heat the size of a football field. The, the second one is also, but it's at a different altitude, and, and this is, uh, needs to be drawn out a whole lot more complex, but for right now, the simplicity. First 747 is heat. Second one is heat pocket, size of a football field. The third one is what we call a molecule leader path. Uh, I will not get into that, but think of a, a continuity, a straight line from this point all the way down to where it would touch the ground. The key word is it would touch the ground, right here. With a combination of those three, we will use computational fluid dynamics. Uh, think of it with the help of a cluster of supercomputers, a cluster of supercomputers, to be able to um, predict where the pockets of air are going next. Break them down to the size of a football field but predict where they're going. Take, for example, if I was to take these six coins right here and toss them completely across the room 
and a quarter has 119 ridges on it, it's touching a certain piece of carpet fiber, a certain piece of fiber, not, you know, glue, but fiber. And every one of them is laid out, you know, to a certain pattern. With computational fluid dynamics here, I can take those quarters, those six coins, and toss them across the room a thousand times, and they'll land across the room exactly within a micron every time, based on that theory. But anyway, this is where this would come in. What I'll use is pattern disruption. Up here, at this point, up here and here, ahead of the tornado, before it gets there. I want to disrupt the pattern before it gets to it, so I can prevent it from actually coming down. So always remember, with the computational fluid dynamics, in time, we will be able to predict all of this. And I want to be able to manipulate it at different spots. The, the molecule leader path, I'll get to later. That's, but anyway, here, uh, this is 64 square chessboard. If I you know, manipulate different patterns at different times, I can stop the final outcome, which is the, which is the funnel cloud touching the ground. Uh, the pa pattern disruption is, is a, a sum of the weather patterns, computational fluid dynamics, and the airborne maser. Uh, with the combination of those, think of um, a Dyson fan, the new fans that's come out. They have a force multiplier, the way they manipulate air. It's very, very impressive. But... Um, that's another thing that I came up with before I presented this is, um, and I'll go into different patterns later on, different patterns of the maser when it's shot out will uh, have different manipulating forms or forces upon the pockets of air. It may split the air, it may, counter, it may go counterclockwise, clockwise, whatever, go vertical, horizontal, I'll get to that much later. And uh, what I base all this on is the advanced technology we have now, and, in the, you know, and we will have, and plus Moore's Law, which is every 18 months, technology doubles every 18 months. So, but here, uh, when the tornado comes, as if it would come down before, when we put all these in set, all these in place, the funnel dissipates up to the point to where it doesn't actually touch down. And that's, a, that's the point of our stopping point to protect our houses, whatever, family. But this is the objective here, is prevent this from hitting here. And like I said, it's the first 2,000 feet of, um, that we want to manipulate the, the last 2,000 feet, the deadliest 2,000 feet. Not the whole tr cloud structure, not the whole thing, just the points of, of contact here and here and here, all down here. Think of a bowling ball rolling down a smooth hill and hitting a, hitting a little bitty pebble. It's going to shift it just a little bit, no matter what, it's going to shift it. If you put another pebble five or six feet further away in another position, it's going to shift that. Eventually, the ball is going to be going to the right. But anyway, this is the basic introduction. Uh, this is the announcement of uh, Stopping a Tornado Initiative 2012. Um, thank you for coming, and I'll have more videos, animation, uh, open for any comments. And I want to thank you again. I'm Chuck Mangino from Tallahoma, Tennessee. Today is April 7th, 2012, Easter weekend. I planned this for this weekend months ago, and we're at Hands-On Science Center. I want to thank you.